Hi guys. Yeah, where have I been? I've had a number of you actually reach out and say, Monica, where are you? What's happening? It's been a while since I've recorded, I know. And um, I kind of hinted on my last video that some things were going to be happening, some changes, um, things of that nature. And um, what has actually happened is that Jay and I took a, um, we took uh, time to come down south basically in the RV and do something we've never done and that is to be uh, away from home for an extended period of time but we did arrange things at home we have a whole bunch of different things set up and of course the the dogs are there my son is there so you know all of that so it wasn't like we were totally leaving the house because I would have been a nervous wreck. But what we ended up doing is we decided just to come down and, you know, after my mom died, you know, that we both needed a break and we both could work remotely. So that kind of worked out really well. We ended up getting um, Starlink, which is a, um, provides internet so that we can upload, we can, you know, do things, be connected. Most importantly, we got Starlink so that I could teach and Jay could teach from the road. And that's actually what we've been doing. And it's worked out really well. So we thought we would take maybe four or five days to come down, get to the Florida, um, northern part of Florida. And in reality, which I kind of knew would happen, and I was nervous because you guys know Jay just had his hip replacement surgery, right? So I was kind of nervous of how he would handle the long ride. But we left home the morning after Christmas on the 26th of December. And on that day, we were only going to maybe be on the road for two, um, 200 miles, maybe 250 miles, which would be like probably three to four hours, right? I mean, it was going to be a short day. December 26th. And it is a foggy morning. So we're gonna hook the Jeep up. Almost ready to roll. Just trying to put the car in neutral tow. House is set up, armed. Dogs are fed. <laughs> Yeah, those dogs, oh my God, those bodies are beasts. So we're on 90, heading towards Albany, New York. There's the J driving the rig, the big rig. And um, yeah, it's been a long time since we've been together driving in the rig. <laughs> a long time. So wish there were a star next three exits. So far traffic has been light. And we've only seen one other RV. That's this guy in front of us so far. And we were told that we would see lines of RVs heading south the day after Christmas. But I don't think we're heading south yet. <laughs> so they're probably we'll probably encounter them when we get onto a more southern route, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, we're heading west, basically. Yeah. So we had a little traffic. But it's like, you know, right where we kind of figured it would be. The merge of two, of 90, of 290 onto 90, right? Yeah. So. Moving. Slowly. This is Hartford. Hartford, Connecticut. This is all Hartford, Connecticut, huh? Yeah. Goodness gracious. It ended up being a very long day. We actually went over 400 miles and we went all the way down to uh, Pennsylvania, to the southern part of Pennsylvania. I would look at the map, but we went way further than we thought. So we ended up spending our first night on the road. And for those of you that um, are really curious in this, we stayed in Carbella's parking lot. And as you can see from this video clip and photos that I'm gonna insert, 
Cabela's parking lot was empty, but for two other trucks. So we were the only RV there that night. It was really, it was really different. And we were in a, an RV that was winterized. So you have to imagine no running water. We did have heat. We could turn on our furnace, but we didn't have any running water. Uh, we really didn't have any power. So for electricity, we would have to use our generator and stuff like that. It was cold. So our first day, <laughs> we, there's the baby. <laughs> wow, cool, huh? Yeah. We're in Pennsylvania. We made it to Pennsylvania. Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Holy camole. And we're, we're, we're spending the night. It was cold. So when we got there, I had prepared meals ahead of time. So I was able to just, you know, turn on our generator, use our microwave warm up a meal we ate uh, and we went to bed i mean we felt both of us felt really really comfortable but putting in that amount of mileage on that one day jay was totally exhausted then we left early the next morning and um, we we went down towards um, we left cabela's and um, we were going down into virginia west virginia and virginia and then we were going to stop we stopped at a cracker barrel had lunch and that night we decided we we're gonna go into a campground and we went into a campground in Virginia and it was called Fort Chiswell RV Resort. Good morning, Sheila, this is the rain we're having. It's Mr. J driving. Watch out, object on road ahead. So yeah, we are on 81 South and heading to the directions of Harrisburg, right? That's where we're heading right now. I don't know how far we'll get today. I don't know how bad this weather will get, but this is what we're facing. And the journey continues. We are now in Maryland, and it is a little bit heavier rain here and a little bit more foggier here. Did you say West Virginia was 11 miles away? That's what the sign said. That's what the sign said. The sign said. Got to have to get inside. <laughs> West Virginia. Ooh. Wet road conditions reduce the South Bean. Yes, we can see they're wet. Welcome to Virginia. Welcome center half mile. So West Virginia was not really very welcoming. They were closed. But we got to stretch. Use the RV bathroom. Now we're back on the road. So we have landed for the night. We're actually in a campground. That's why we have all the lights on and can actually plug in our electronics. And we just ate leftovers. We are, where are we in Fort Chiswell? Virginia. Virginia. Intersection of Interstate 81 and 77. Yeah. I mean, we kicked butt today. I think Jay drove for about six hours again. Yeah, at least. Oh, my God. This is not... I mean, I thought we'd be here maybe tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing from 8.30 to 5.30. Craziness. Took a couple of stops. So, we're just getting a little organized. Today. Even though we're only here for one night, you know, we're able to put the slide out and, you know, do stuff in the cabinets and stuff. And, and then we're going to map out our great adventure tomorrow. We spent the night there. The next day, we drove down towards um, North Carolina and we, we ended up staying in an RV park. We had such nasty, nasty traffic in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, traffic was just horrendous. And, but we ended up staying in an RV resort. And um, where was the RV? Big Rig Friendly RV Resort. It was actually in Columbia, South Carolina. So on, on day three, that was where we spent the night. And that's actually where we started to de-winterize the motorhome, drain the pink stuff out of the pipes and flush the system and, you know, and put in water so, uh, so we could actually function. The refrigerator, we turned all of that on. So everything was fine. We had, we had a wonderful night's sleep in that campground. And then the very next day, we decided, which was day four, we were going to um, leave as early as we could. We went down and we went all the way to Georgia and we stayed in an RV park called Coastal Georgia RV. We decided since we were ahead of schedule at this point in time, that we would spend at least three, I think two or three nights there. 
and that's what we did. And we went over to um, we went over to a little island, and oh my gosh, I'm going to insert some of the photos here. We just had an amazing time in this whole area. This beach that I'm going to show you is um, it was it was actually surreal walking around a beach like that with all the trees and everything set up the way it was. Driftwood Beach. I wonder what it's gonna be like. Oh, my phone. oh Driftwood Beach. Beautiful. We spent a few days there, and um, then we left to go to to Saint Augustine, and uh, we stay. We're staying in an RV resort in Saint Augustine, and Saint Augustine is really, really, really pretty. We've had we had a great time. One night we went out and saw the lights because they have all the holiday lights displayed. So we went out and saw that. I went shopping in Old Town. Old Town is full of like little cobblestone streets and um, it was just amazing. And then we, we hit the beach a couple of times, went to Crescent Beach, just really, really nice. And because we were there in St. Augustine, we did a lot of working last week. I taught four classes. Jay taught, I think three classes. This coming week, he's gonna teach a number of classes. So it's not been vacation. It's just been working differently. And, I, and I'll tell you, I meant to record. I meant to do an update. I meant to, I even have some empties back in the RV that I was going to do a little empties video. And I just never did. I never even went on Instagram. The only thing I did was I posted on my Facebook page, you know, and that was just basically updates on where we were and the different things we were doing and stuff like that. It was, it was really amazing. It was, um, it's been a fun, fun time and it continued. We went on a day trip. We went over to, well, we actually went away for a couple of days. We went over to, uh, the villages and just, we have friends that are there and they, they invited us to stay for a couple of nights. They're renting a property there and we stayed for two nights. And the, it's a whole different type of a ball game, the villages, I think. Um, very, very big. I know some of you know, you've been there, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Very, very big. A little bit too big for me. Um, I think that I would do much better in a, perhaps a smaller community. But the things that I really liked about the villages was all the different events they had going on. One night we went to um, One Town Square, Paddock. I'll enclose the pictures and another night we went to another town square. They had musicians. It was just really, really lovely. And they had a big fair going on, a craft fair, and I did that. Jay golfed a couple of times. And it, it's a nice place, just really huge and crowded. You could not at a last minute decide to go into a restaurant without having a long, long wait. Very, very crowded. And I felt sort of like I'm not too sure how easy it would be to feel connected. And I know, I think is it pretty over 50 lives in the villages and she does a ton of videos in the villages and she's always talking about how much she likes it. And I did like it. I like the activity level, but I didn't feel, of course it's only two days. So, you know, you can't really judge, but I didn't feel that it would be easy to connect with people. It was just so big, you know? Uh, and that's, I think, what I would be looking for if I was going to be coming down to Florida to stay uh, or to retire or to even winter. I'd be looking for some sort of community. So while we were here, every single day, but maybe four, I have hit my goal of 10,000 steps. I've been trying really hard to, you know, to lose weight, to get healthy, uh, to find my my motivation you know when you lose your motivation it's so hard to get your motivation back so I've been struggling with that and Jay because he had his hip replacement surgery he had when he was before his surgery he gained a lot of weight especially in his stomach which is not healthy for a guy at all 
and he had gained a lot of weight because he couldn't do certain things. So he's walking with me now. We walked the beach. We walked a neighborhood. We walked the campground. So every day, Jay and I go out for walks, and it's just been really lovely. And he finally did something I've been after him to do for a long time, which was to get a pedicure. I actually made an appointment for him. Because, you know, guys don't take care of their feet like they should. His nails were horrible, um, and I didn't want to be doing anything with his feet <laughs> Not until he got someone else to do it for us, type of thing. So um, he got that all in close some pitches, and he absolutely loved the experience. So he's trying to get healthy. I'm trying to get healthy and just trying to wrap our head around. We've both had a, a year, you know. It's been a year with my mom passing and my brother and my father it's just been one thing after another and then my most recent lumpectomy and mo surgery and then his hip replacement it's like oh my gosh we just need a break so this is i probably going to be a little bit longer because um i'm gonna this is gonna be part one i'll do a part two but before i kind of um pause here i want to just say that i am wearing montecito which is a new release from Beltrus, and this is part of their city collection. Oh my gosh, do you guys like this on me? What do you think? This is in the color Raw Sugar Blonde R. I really think this looks good on me. I like it. It kind of reminds me of some of my favorite wigs, but the density's a lot lighter, and I really like this. So this is from Shirley's Wig Shop. I'll make sure to link her shop. You can find her right here on Facebook too. But oh my gosh, this is just so pretty. So in case you're wondering, I'm not inside my motorhome here. <laughs> I'm actually somewhere else. So in a, a moment, I'm going to shut this off. And in a moment, when you next see me, I am going to be with someone extra special. So sit tight. Come on in, here she is. Hi everybody, how are you all doing? I, I'm, sh I'm sure they guessed by the background. Did you guys guess where I was? Say yes or no in the comments below. Is that right? I know, yes or no does. in the comments below. Yeah, probably they did guess that, huh? Yeah, and they probably guessed by, by the background. Yeah, and then the different hair. I know. So it was a year ago that Jay and I came down to Florida and we flew that time. Mm -hmm. And we actually stayed with Marlene here. I don't even remember, three, four days. It was a long time. We went out to it, it wasn't long enough. But it was it, to just, you know, I mean, to disrupt your room and your house and all that. But yeah. anyways, she's just been absolutely fantastic. A wonderful hostess. Tonight we're going to go out to dinner somewhere. We are. And yeah. Jay's golfing. And I'm filming. And we're going to film a little bit more. We are. But for those of you that don't know, which I know you all do know, this is Marlene, the Fab and the Lamb for your beauty channel. Yep. And Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio for your wig channel. It is. And Marlene has graciously gifted me this beautiful. And doesn't it look beautiful, beautiful on her? It just looks too beautiful on her, not too, not too for her not to have it. I think it looks beautiful. So I've been wearing this all morning in my video. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the color. I fell in love with the style. It's beautiful. And I did mention earlier uh, what it was, but I want you to go into the color a little bit more. Okay. This is, Amani uh, is wearing Montecito. This is from the Bell Tress from the new collection, uh, the City collection. And it's in the color Raw Sugar Blonde R. This is a uh, light uh, uh, the lightest brown, and if money, if you turn around a little, so she's got the lightest brown here with a dark blonde, and we have some pale golden or very pale neutral blonde, and then we have a uh, kind of a, a, a brown root, and it's a it's a I think it's a really pretty neutral color, leaning warm. I think it's really really pretty. I really like it. I fell in love with it. I put it on. I said, Oh wow. Because I, I have other wigs in this style, and I love them, and I've worn them often, but um, the density is so much lighter on this. It is. It's a really light density. Which I think gives you a more 
natural. Natural. Right? Yeah. You know? And I love the part. You know, it's very, very nice. So this is, is part of their what city? This is from the city collection. And um, Beltrex has Beltra, heat and, and they're all heat friendly. Yeah, that yeah. I like. I do too because they're, it doesn't have an, as much shine. Yeah, I really like that a lot. So, yeah, I'm not going to style this in any other way because I love the way this style is. I just think it's beautiful. So it is. Thank you. What a wonderful gift. And this came from Shirley's? That Yes, from Shirley's Wig Shop. Um, I review for Shirley, so um, she sends me wigs to review, and I'm always happy to review them. And when I need to purchase wigs, I purchase them at Shirley's. And what do you have on? I have on also from the city collection. This is Newport, and this one is in the color Mocha Maple Brown. And the thing with uh, Mocha Maple Brown, this is a very warm brunette. If you like shaded hazelnut from Raquel Welch or Toffee Truffle from John Renau, you'd probably like Mocha Maple brown it's a really pretty warm brunette there are some highlights am i talking about the right wig yeah yes, um, <laughs> yes i am uh so you do have some of that auburn color running through we have uh like an eight root yes we have like an eight root on here so we have a dark brown and uh, and then the caramel highlight or the auburn highlights I think it looks beautiful on you. I love this one. I, I love Newport. I think I think Beltrust really did a, a good job with this city collection. Yeah, I I will have to agree. I think it's it's really awesome. I have on order the um the oh gosh Los Angeles. Los Angeles. I've just drawn a blank. And um I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I get that soon. So I saw that because you have you have yeah. It looks really pretty. But. Yeah. Los so, Angeles is very similar to but Newport, stacked. but it's stacked. It's the same length up here on the front and then stacked on the back. Oh, it looks gorgeous. So I mm -hmm. love visiting you, Marlene, because I always learn something more about wigs. And, you know, and if you, I think if you look at Marlene's makeup, your makeup is always awesome. I oh, always have been so envious when she used to do a lot of get ready with me. And she would do her eyeshadow and I would be like zooming in. Trying to learn from that. You, you do a you great do. job with your eye chat. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Nah, not really. Not like you. You're like, you, your eyes are always beautiful. Absolutely oh, beautiful. Thank you. So here we are in Florida, or here I am in Florida. You have been in Florida um, because you live here, obviously. But finally, we've been here, Jay and I have been here since January 1st when we arrived up in St. Augustine. And I packed my winter boots. I packed two winter coats. And I did that because as we were coming down, we were in a winterized RV and it was cold leaving home. Right. So I never expected that three weeks into our trip in Florida, I'd still be wearing winter boots. Yes. But here we are today. And what is the temperature? It's going to be 80? It's 82 degrees today. But you are also in northern... In northern Florida, it's usually in the 30s in January, and then and you are in in um, up there somewhere. So that area of the the Panhandle and northern Florida will have uh, high, uh, very low temperatures in January and February. I'm in Central Florida, so it's about I don't know. It could be 20 degrees higher here than it is up there. Well, it is absolutely beautiful here. We are going to explore a little bit tomorrow and I don't know if we're going to be going home going back up to St. Augustine tomorrow night or Saturday morning but Saturday night we have a, a boat uh, ride in St. Augustine and it's the last night of their holiday lights so what I'm hoping it's warm up there because I don't want to be out freaking it my buns be. off yeah. up there in the boat you know <laughs> I know but tonight we're going out on a pier or something we're yes it's a uh, it's a restaurant that's on the dock so it's supposed it's really good i haven't been there in years but i thought uh, monty and jay would like it so we're gonna have a little chick night out it'll be the two of us and jay will be a, a chauffeur right he'll right. be he'll be our driver and um you and i can just have fun and 
make money pay my time. And yeah. I was telling him how we went on a pedicure. He was telling you about it last yeah. night. So <laughs> it was like, I can't believe he's uh, he's openly talking about it. So very, very cool. Yeah, I know. That is so cool. Yeah. So anyways, um, I'm going to end this as part one of this. I will be a part two and there will probably be a part three and a part four mm -hmm. of our continuing adventure so Marlene and I are going to record a, a video or two mm -hmm. wake talk and uh, and then I'm going to upload this and hopefully this will be uploaded for Saturday morning I hope we'll see yeah. All right. but thank you guys for watching if you're new to my channel please subscribe I'm going to link Marlene's two channels below as well as Shirley's yeah and uh, yeah and just let me know what you think of the video and thank you for watching yes thank you bye bye, bye.